Kantor Vlog! <laughs> Our research topic is Preliminary study on the use of activated corn husk on simulated nitrates and phosphate waters. And I'm Jersey Custodio. I'm Lawrence Clare of 11. I'm Gerald M. Belandres. Watch our videos! Watch and learn! Wow. Yeah. Gentrification is a phenomenon where nutrients such as nitrates and phosphates feed algae and microorganisms and help them propagate. An increase in their population may prevent sunlight from penetrating the seawaters and may cause competition for oxygen with other plants and animals, thus it may result to fish kill. and phosphate from the water such as absorption. Nitrates. Nitrates warrants our attention because it may affect our health. Although nitrates warrants our health, it was used as medicine before, such as lack of appetite, kidney stones, and as prophylactic against smallpox. Phosphate. In the study of Norm 2014, phosphate contamination in water is like nitrate. Phosphate is a necessary nutrient for plants to survive and is a limiting factor in plants growth. There are two types of eutrophication. Natural eutrophication comes with the soil and the animals. Artificial eutrophication, on the other hand, it is man-made. For the methodology, first, corn husk leaves would be gathered from the corn husk suppliers of Rizal with the permission of the corn vendors as they are treated as waste products by the vendors themselves. These leaves would then be gathered and dried in an oven for 24 hours at 50 degrees Celsius. Once done, it will then be cut into smaller pieces using scissors in order to be put upon a blender to pulverize the corn husk into fine powder. The powder would then be activated at a furnace with the same temperature of 50 degrees Celsius when it was dried up in the oven. 10 milligrams of sodium nitrate and sodium phosphate respectively would then be dissolved in one liter of water, each in their respective containers. Three trials would be done with the following absorbent doses, the results of which would then be compared with this table. The results would then be tallied and determine the different concentrations of sodium phosphate and sodium nitrate using their respective test kits. The analysis of the variance would be the instrument to test the significant difference between absorbent doses.